lot of students have a habit of sleeping less during their JE examination or often they wake up too late in the night for preparing for their JE prep. Today we will discuss all of these topics uh, in this one video. We will talk what is the optimal time you should sleep, when you should sleep, when you should study, all of these things. Okay. I know it's something that's not talked about too much but I think it's a very important topic to discuss because sleep is a very important part not only of a student's life but of your overall well-being in general. Okay. Before beginning, if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing and pressing the notifications. I'm saying this so that these videos are suggested to you. Otherwise, nowadays, if you are not subscribed and notified, these videos are not coming in your recommendations. So please do it if you want to get a good rank in your exams using these tips. Okay. So the first thing is duration. So I think that every student must sleep eight hours or more during their 11th and 12th. Okay. Now I know a lot of people laugh that how much, how much, how will I get this much time? Let me tell that I myself slept every day seven to eight hours on the minimum and on sundays i used to sleep even more okay uh, and i used to go to school coaching everything I, I had the busiest schedule out of all of you and i still managed to sleep this much and i still managed to get a good rank as well okay so i don't think there's an issue of time because even if you do this and let's say you spend two more hours in you know eating food and getting ready and all of those things you still have 14 hours left in your schedule now I will assume that four hours can be considered time which is spent on other activities or whatever. Then you still have 10 hours a day. Okay. That's pretty good amount of studies, right? And a lot of those days are summer vacations or Sundays or holidays. So you have a lot of time. Time is not an issue. Okay. So don't come to me with the excuse that I don't have time because if you come to me with that excuse, the first thing I'm going to ask you is to go to your phone screen time and show me what it is. Is it less than 30 minutes? If it is, then I'll give you the excuse. Then I will consider what you're saying. But most of you probably spend two, three, four, five, six hours on your phones in non-educational apps. And then you complain that you don't have time. So which is better use of time to sleep or to use your phone? I think we both know the answer, right? So I don't think there's an issue of time. I think it's an issue of priorities and issue of understanding why this is. See, if you don't sleep enough, so a lot of students have this habit that they have to wake up at 7 a.m. or whatever due to their school or 6 a.m. maybe and they sleep at uh, 2 p.m. or whatever like something like this okay now the problem with this is that if you are a student okay you have to memorize a lot of things in your brain okay and you have to understand new concepts and you cannot do that with this much less sleep because sleep is the time when a our body recovers b our brain you know stores things inside its folders if you may if you will okay so that kind of a process takes place where uh, there's some kind of a biological thing happening in our brain which helps in memorizing and retaining things which you have learned okay now if you sleep for two hours three hours four hours six hours then your brain simply cannot do that okay so you must make sure that you sleep enough so that your brain gets the required time to understand those concepts well and i will give an example also okay so for the next week i will ask you to sleep for seven eight hours at least every day okay even if your homework is left don't do don't worry okay for only one week and then try to recall what your last week was like you will see that you are remembering concepts much 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 better than before why because you slept well and your brain got the appropriate rest so please try to sleep well and another problem with a lot of people is that they are not waking up till 2 a.m. to study. Okay, they are not doing that. They are waking up till 2 a.m. for some other thing. They are not studying. They are doing any random stuff. And then they are saying in the name of studies. So don't do that. Okay. I think 12 to 7. Or if you want, maybe you can even make this 7. That is also okay. Like in Sunday, you can sleep a little But this much, you should have this much sleep. I think I made my point clear about the sleep thing. Now the second question is, should I do night studies? What, 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 like basically some students say that they are more efficient in the night, this kind of a thing some people say. So what to do about it? So if you are more efficient in the night, first of all, I personally don't believe that because evolutionarily we are made to be in such a way that, you know, there's a certain thing called the Sicardian rhythm. You can look it up. It's called the Sicardian rhythm. I think the neat students will recognize this. So this is basically uh, the cycle, the natural uh, instinct of a human to feel sleepy when the sun is down okay so there's a certain thing in our brain that when the sun is down when it's dark it wants to sleep okay and when the sun is up it wants to wake up why because in you know earlier times uh, there used to be all kinds of animals roaming outside right and you had to shelter in your cave 
in order to not be killed and these attacks are more frequent during the night because at night you cannot see right so for its safety evolutionarily we developed ourselves in a way that we want to sleep more at night okay and our body has not evolved much since those times it has been only a few thousand years now few thousand years are a lot but evolutionarily it's not a big amount of time right so we still want to work in the day and sleep in the night so i think that it's unnatural to want to work at night and i don't recommend it okay but still some of you have this habit that maybe you are not disturbed during the night or whatever it is because of those users maybe you want to sleep further in the uh, i mean you want to wake up late and work which is fine i understand so what i would recommend is that have a cut off time okay i think no one should study past 2 pm and in the night if you are doing such kind of a thing then at least 5 hours you should sleep in the night and 2 to 3 hours you should have a nap okay you should have a 2 to 3 hour nap in the afternoon now this can also be a good option as in in the night you sleep for let's say 5 hours okay because you are studying and you have to wake up early for school or coaching or whatever the hell it is and in the evening or in the afternoon take a 2 hour 1 hour 3 hour kind of a nap okay this is also a good strategy because uh you will recover in the afternoon as well and you will have a more productive evening okay so this also you can do however i still recommend the better option is that you sleep before 12 and wake up at 7 or whatever it is and have a good one slot of 7 or 8 hours sleep and you don't take an afternoon nap okay or maybe 15 20 minutes you take uh, this second option you can take if you are completely a night owl kind of person that is still okay but otherwise you should i mean the main thing is that you should sleep well okay that is the minimum requirement so i hope i made this point clear if you need more help with your jee preparation you can check out acad boost courses we have courses for every year and uh, it has everything you need for jee lectures test papers dpps all of these with complete solution it's a self paced course you can study log in any time you want it has every material of class 11th and 12th and uh, it's like a complete thing you don't need anything else to jee just do that you will do well so link of the app is in description and we have a lot of free content as well free notes and all so wo to aap check kar hi lijiyega so thank you for watching good luck all the best